welcome to my channel, Starlight Starlight 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. So today is Sunday Fun Day. Um, I have a new little project that I want to start. I got this off of Timu. So I want to share that with you and we will kit it up and get it ready to go. Uh, really looking forward to uh, seeing what this is going to look like. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it's, I've, it was brand new to me. I'd never seen it on Timu before, so I don't know if they just brought them out or what, but, um, but anyway, yes, I wanted to share that with you. Um, but before we start all that, we're going to go into our cards. So now this week, I thought we would do Loving Words from Jesus. Um, again, they are from Doreen Virtue, and I really like her last cards that we were doing. Um... And on here, it's very interesting. It says, Doreen is, so, so of course I got these from Timu. And it says, Doreen is donating a portion of the proceeds from this deck to one of her favorite charities, Compassion International, which provides for the basic needs of impoverished children worldwide so, so that they can live happier and healthier lives. And then it has a little uh, scan code at the back. But um, it says, Loving Words from Jesus, this beautiful deck is Doreen Virtue's way of sharing her love and respect for Jesus and his inspiring words in the Gospels. Each card features a loving portrait of Jesus by the artist Greg Olson, along with an uplifting biblical verse from Jesus. Whatever your relationship with Jesus is like, you're sure to find these cards comforting and filled with love. So... That's what the box looks like. And I'll get you the price after um, we do this one. So, or actually, I'll get you the price when I look up the price <laughs> for what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> but I do know it's, um, I just got them, so I wanted to share them with you. So this is what the cards look like. It's got Jesus. Jesus is... The Good Shepherd. Alright. They all look the same. They all have the same uh, backing to them. So today's message is John 16, 24. And it says, Ask and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. And here's the picture of it. So same as what it is on the back for this one. So yeah, ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. And that comes from John 16, 24. And sometimes it's so hard to, um, to ask. Or I should say it's not hard to ask. It's hard to ask in a positive way. You know, many times when when we're going through troubled times, it's so easy to pray and ask God to help, right? But how about in those good times, you know? Yes, it's so important to also ask in those good times so that your heart will be full of joy. So, really nice. So that's our new card deck for today. Or for this week, we'll probably be doing these ones this week. So I'm just going to rotate them as we go. Yeah, I do have a shout out today, a new channel that I came across, uh, her channel's name is Salted Seashell, Salted Period Seashell. Um, she does Timu hauls, diamond paintings, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart hauls, DIYs, jewelry designer, and mixed um, media art. Uh, she's just a beginner artist, uh, DIYers, having fun. Uh, she lives, I believe, in Lower Lake CA, so I presume that's California. Uh, I believe her name is Shell, C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, she just subscribed to me yesterday, so I went back and subscribed to her because I know she had a channel. And I watched a couple of her videos, and it's really, really cool. She's got right now 109 subscribers, and she's got 60 videos. So this is what her channel looks like here. So, oh, hold on, I need to, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to shut this off. 
There we go. And there's your channel there. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully it will focus for you. It's kind of hard because it got all the backlighting today. <laughs> so yeah. Oh dear. But there you go. Hopefully you can see that. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'll course put her name up here on the screen and then I will also uh, have her link in my description so let's do what our RV family does the best let's go share our love uh, go check her out uh, give her a subscribe give her a like on one of her videos and leave her a comment let her know that uh, welcome her first to the RV family and yeah go just go share her some love so appreciate that all right so that's a shout out now we're gonna go to team all right, so the cards that we did were two dollars and eighty-seven cents. They're right here. So hopefully you can see that okay. I try not to do it too much glare today. So yeah. So um, really, really good price. There's forty-four cards in that deck, and I just think it would also be just a really lovely gift to someone. So. Those are the cards, and then let me go to what I'm going to share with you today. Let's see if I can find it. It's in here somewhere. I did like three, I think it was three different orders, um, just to get the the best for my coupon usage um, I got like a $300 coupon bundle and then they just give you a certain percentage off of course of every item so which makes it um, not every item sorry every order and so yeah so I broke it down and I got my best dollars worth I thought anyway um, how I usually break down my my coupons but but anyway so I'm going to show you that in the box but before that I did finish my kitties yesterday look at them so this is going for Snuggie's Crafting Corners event she's got a Diamond Dots event going on um, my husband picked this up at Walmart for me a while back and it was just a partial so all this is not filled but the kitties are so they just turned out absolutely adorable so I still want to get the black one finished as well, so I'll be um, submitting both the two diamond dots when I'm done my black kitty onto her Facebook page. So if you want to know more about uh, the event, because I know we still we have what, one, one and a half weeks left I think in July. Oh my goodness, where is July gone? <laughs> I, ju I just felt that the beginning of July just started. But anyway, um, if you're interested in that, yeah, go check your channel out. Uh, go ask her exactly what is needed. I believe you just need to post them on her Facebook. At least that's what I'm going to do. But, uh, but yeah. And she's cool. She's a really, really sweet lady. So that's Snuggy, Snuggy's Crafting Corner. Alright, so now we're going to get into what I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera down. If I can and we are going to look at this because yeah I'm really excited so I'm gonna pause you and then set up the camera and then I'll come back alrighty hopefully that is good and you can see <laughs> so it came in this box here it was a little bit beat up and stuff um, this was closed but I did open it you can see that so what it is so it comes with this rubber thing rubber tubing I guess and it is so I have seen the square ones like this but here is a round one so it does it comes with your basic kit there that's all you need um, to diamond paint if that's all you have I do uh, like these these ones better I have two white ones that I use and I also have a couple purple ones over on uh, my shelf over there but but if this is all you have this is all that you need so you have your pen you have your wax and of course you have your little tray here so that comes in your kit 
you got your drills here and then you have this wooden thing <laughs> and then you have this which is very dirty I'm hoping there's a film on this very dusty oh my goodness but here's your film thing for your uh, painting and then actually to put on top of your painting when you're done and here's a little design says got my pixie girl in there or my ollie boy i want to say my pixie girl and uh yeah and so it is uh, on a piece of wood so when you're done you put this on top of here like so and then it fits in here i presume that's where that uh, plastic goes but you would put it in your tray like this And I think this is about $15. Uh, these little trays and stuff are more expensive. But there you go. And that's what it will look like. I presume that rubber stuff is what you put in here to keep hold it all together. But I thought it was just really, really cute. Of course, you want to line it up so the puppy is, is right, I guess. Because you got your handles right here. But I thought it would be its just really, really cute to put little things in. You can put a little vase in here. Um, you can store some of your jewelry in here. Uh, just different things. So I thought it was just really, really cute. So that's what we're going to kit up today. And we're going to... I got my little container here to put my gels in. So how was everybody's week? Mine was really good. It was been another hot week. And so I've been mostly staying in. I've been sleeping a lot. I wasn't feeling well a couple days. As many of you know, I kind of had lost my voice and stuff, which isn't always the best thing. But where are my stickers? Well, for now I do have my tape. So I'm going to use my tape here. Um, so yeah, I wasn't feeling the best and so I did a lot of sleeping this week. So I didn't get much done. I started sorting through my books and did that. That's kind of big. I have to try tearing it down a little bit here. Um, so yeah, um, my books with my diamond paintings. I got a really nice big one, but I'm not too impressed with it. And the only reason why is because it also holds 30 by 40s. I thought it was one that was going to hold all my 40 by 40s in it. And, um, yeah, it also holds 30 or 30 by 40s. But once I get it all done, I will show you. Um, it's full of my 40 by 40 paintings. It seems to be the size that I'm really liking right now is a 40 by 40s. And don't know why, but I'm really excited. I ordered a uh, custom from Center One. So I can't wait for that to come in and see what it's going to look like. That's another thing too, I've been really into my customs lately, and uh, the ones that I have gotten have really turned out nice, so very, very happy with that. There we go. And I like these, these just kind of lift up like this, and then I can just fill them in. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Now you'll see on these here, they all have... They're all numbered, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and an eight. And really, really nice colors in there. Really like the colors, so. But yeah, so I'm really excited anyway to get that, um, to get that partial, what's going to look like. 
The other partials that I've ordered I've really liked. I Like I said, I have not been happy though with uh, Timu shipping. It has been awful, awful, awful. And so yeah, I'm not happy with that at all. Um, not only that, but they've been leaving my parcels, not Timu, but the delivery people have been leaving my parcels outside our gate here that we have at the park. And there is a mail room that it can be dropped off in, but um, they're too lazy to phone uh, the phone the uh, park here to let them in because it is a closed gate. And yeah. So, let's put all the junk over here. Um, so yeah, they've been leaving outside the gate and uh, the lady that owns the park here, uh, she came to visit me the other night and she says that they just tossed, they tossed my parcels down. She says she watched it on her camera. She says, yep, yeah, they just threw it kind of out of their truck and off they went. I'm like, I'm like, really? So I can just imagine the uh, way our parcels get bumped around and everything. Um, not just um, just from the package depart packaging department from Timu, but from all the uh, couriers and everything. Oh dear, I'm making a mess already. Uh, but yeah, I can just imagine. So, then we wonder why our dime paintings come the way they do. Um, but I did put a complaint into um, Timu, uh, customer service, and I suggest that more people would do that with their dime paintings instead of just asking. You know, you can go into the into your order and ask for a refund that way. But I have now gone to actually contacting customer service and complaining. And I mean, right away, oh yeah, yeah, we'll give you a refund. Well, that's fine and dandy. Uh, thank you very much. And of course I will take that refund because my paintings came damaged, but I want better customer uh, control or the, what do you call it, customer, uh, or um, packaging and control, quality control, I guess is the right word for that. I want better, yes. Uh, I definitely want that. And so, I should have got out my funnel. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I definitely want that to be looked into. And they said that they were going to. Now, if they do or not, we'll see. I do have a couple more packages on the way, so uh, we will see what that is going to be. Um, oh my, this one doesn't want to get picked up. There we go. All right. That is number three. So yeah, so we'll see what they do with that and go. But of course I did, like I said, I got like a $30 refund on that order. Um, I got these really cute um, facial or uh, dish towels too and just the way they were folded, um, I wasn't happy with them either because there was a night, nice, there's a little image on it and it was... Old. I felt that the images look wrecked. It was um, coming off too, so it was starting to peel off. So I got a refund on that one too, and I will. I'll, sh I'll show that with you um, maybe tomorrow. And I mean, it's a really, really cute image and everything. But yeah, so. And I'm like, you know what, Timu? I says, you know, I'm, I, I love Timu. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Timu. I love the prices. I love the price adjustments we get back. Um, their customer service is really, really good. I have to say, it is good. Um, I always suggest though to 
take yourself one step higher and ask to talk to somebody because um, yeah because otherwise you're I believe you're talking to AI and you won't get very far with that so I always ask to talk to somebody either a representative that comes on to uh, your chat and they will actually give you their name or you can actually ask for a phone call and lately I've been doing the phone calls just so I could talk to a live person and to make sure that my concerns are being heard because I never know about those AI programs or those messages same thing when you're calling everything now uses those automated messages and my husband gets so mad <laughs> Because it's, um, yeah, it's like they don't, they'll ask you to do something, but then if something doesn't work, you know, or like put this number in and then they'll say, oh, you didn't enter it correctly. Can you put it in again? And trying to get to some, a live person is very, very difficult, very difficult, you know, and it gets very frustrating with these automated services. It's like, you know what, just give me a live person. I just want to talk to somebody. Whatever happened to the good old days? <laughs> so, yeah. They seem to have disappeared. Seven. This one's pretty. So, yeah, it's uh, crazy how times have changed. And they're just gonna get keep changing because now they got all this AI stuff out, and everything is being done with AI um, images too. Uh, and they and then they call themselves artists. Well, it's a computer, yeah, that created it. It might have been your idea of what to tell the computer how to create an image, but and they say, well, that's my art. And I, I guess it's great for, you know, for being an artist and having an AI like that. Um, because, yeah, it is, you know, a thing, but you're, but it's a computer that's creating it. And you're accepting that image. Um, beautiful, beautiful artwork out there. My goodness. Uh, we have someone in our RV family here that does AI images. Absolutely gorgeous. And... And it's um, quite incredible what you can do with AI. Um, I do. I did have a program for a while. We, I was fooling around with um, with the AI, but uh, I never looked too much more into it. But for me, it's like, oh well, if I see an image and I like it, well, yeah, guess what? I'm gonna use it, unless it actually says that this artist painted it or whatever. Um, then I won't. I won't uh, disrespect them in any way because that is their art. But, like, I don't even know where half these people even get their images from. And then you look on Google and they're all over the place. So, uh, sometimes Google will put license behind, uh, behind a picture, but then other times they don't. So, not sure. I'm not sure. But when I create my, when I do my customs, I do uh, look around and make sure that uh, I don't see anywhere that it says licensed uh, material on it. So how you do this is you just peel this back like this. And then, got lots of twos, let's do four. So here's just an extra and I'm not going to bother kidding that one up. We'll just use it at the very end. But what do you guys think of this whole AI thing and the AI images and stuff? Uh, do you think that they should be all copyrighted as well? You know, people not using their images. Actually, I want to keep that open because sometimes I forget what number I'm doing. Um, or is it fair game out there in this world? I don't know. 
Hopefully you can see that good. Of course I'm left handed so my apologies because yeah, I'm now covering up what I'm doing. <laughs> I probably should have had the camera on the other side. Oh well next time. Um, yeah, let me know. Be curious to see what your thoughts of the whole AI uh, programs and stuff that are out there. And have you guys dabbled with that at all? A lot of my images, though, that I do, I I get them off of I get them off of Timu, and like I look at the, all the dime paintings that they have, and there's a say 20 by 20 that I know will not look it in the 20 by 20, and I really love the image. Then I will get a custom done by uh, 40 by 40, um, or a 30 by 30 that I think it might just be a little bit too small. Then I will get uh, it done in a bigger size. And like I said, I've been very impressed with my uh, customs I've been having. I do know that the Moon Goddess I got from Centawan now. Um, Diamond Art Club apparently also has that image. And it's like okay is that stolen art i don't know or did center one buy that uh image like how is uh someone like me supposed to know all that i, I don't understand like i don't understand that whole world of um you know artists and unless it's you know I guess there. I guess maybe once you dime painting for a long time, you you kind of figure out, you know, oh, this is someone's work, or this is an artist, and and you just don't buy it. I don't know. I don't understand all that yet. Like I say, oftentimes the on Timu even I see an image and I like it and I'm going to buy it. <laughs> you know. It's like, ooh, I like that. So, yeah. I don't even think of, oh, is this like stolen art? And how am I supposed to know if, you know, maybe that seller did, you know, have the right to sell that person's art? I don't know. Or is it a, what do they call that? A dub or a dub or a dub or whatever it's called? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Ollie, Ollie, no barking, please. Excuse my boy. He don't know what he's barking at. Ollie, no barking, please. Oh dear. He has been so vocal lately. Um, every little thing that he hears, he's got to bark at now. And I do have a collar that I put on him. Um, it has like it, one like rings. And then one setting vibrates, the other one shocks. And uh, I will not shock my dog. No way, no how. Um, but I do ring it and I do uh, use the vibrate on him. And it does seem to work somewhat. But I don't always want to keep his collar on him. That's not fair for him. And he hates it, of course, because he knows. And. Um, so yeah, just been very vocal lately. Ooh, I think today is a full moon. So if you are got a clear sky out there tonight, I'm hoping that today will be nice. Yesterday we had a storm come through last night, and so wasn't able to sit outside. I always love sitting outside um, in the evenings, UG. Around 6.30, 7 o'clock, that's my time to go sit outside and then sit out there till 10, 10.30. Um, that's when I usually answer most of my comments that you guys leave me, um, is when I sit outside there and it's usually just so lovely. I love watching the sunset and we have beautiful sunsets out here in the desert, just absolutely gorgeous. 
and then all my little lights come on outside, all my solar lights, and get to watch them, and every once in a while the birds will come by and eat. So just very relaxing. Me and my husband really enjoy sitting out there in the evening. Um, otherwise, during the day it's just too, too hot because we've been up in the 90s, up in the 100s, and yeah, it's just a little bit too hot to be sitting outside. <laughs> uh, but today, like I said, uh, it's nice and sunny today again, so we shall see what it's going to look like for tonight. So anyway, so if it is nice, then hopefully we'll be able to see the full moon. And you always hear stories about the full moon and how crazy um, everyone gets. Not everyone, but uh, say the hospitals get more busier and there's just more action happening out there. So it's quite interesting. So I don't really have any big plans for this week. Oh, tomorrow we will be doing our draw for the weird event. So thank you to all those that entered. I think my husband said there was 35 comments, but 30 people entered. So we have 30 entries. So we'll be doing that tomorrow with you guys. So watch out for that. And I'll make sure that um, I also post it on my community post of who the winner is. And um, usually we'll give a week. To, to have respond back to me and if I don't hear back from you within that week then it will go to another person so that's usually how we work it and my husband and I had so much fun doing that <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun for us we love doing our little events and I just absolutely love giveaways too and I enjoy that I, we are able to do that um, I'm truly blessed uh, to live the life that we are living and uh, my husband is retired I am on disability and I would never be able to work now not to say that I can't work from home and I've been thinking about that of uh, maybe getting, uh, seeing if I can pick up a job from working at home. Because I do know that's a thing. But um, right now, financially, we are, we are good. And, you know, um, I mean, the, the park here that we live in is super cheap to live here. And we sold our house, our house back in Canada. So, and then we got this trailer here, and yeah, um, living the simple life. <laughs> Don't have to worry about house costs or house repairs. Now, not to say there isn't uh, repairs on a trailer, my goodness, or on an RV. Let me tell you, there is. And there seem to be more expensive than sometimes house repairs, but... We have been blessed so far and have only um, had a couple things go out. We had our heater go out, so we had to get a new uh, furnace, our fireplace, and so we just bought one instead of getting that repaired because it was cheaper. And then we had air conditioner problems last year. But we got that all figured out and um, it's been working wonderfully this year. So. I also do have um, another little air conditioner that I run that goes just outside of our um, window. It's an, as uh, what do you call it? A floor model, like it sits on the floor, but you pipe it out the window, like the uh, thing. So we do have that set up, and that makes it keep it nice and cool, at least in the living room area. My bedroom, on the other hand gets very very hot um, we would need to put a air conditioner back there but for the time being with how many I mean I don't spend hardly any time in the bedroom and so and at night it cools off enough that it's 
nice and cool back there. By the time we go to bed, we're we're night owls. <laughs> so um, usually I don't uh, go to sleep till after two o'clock in the morning. Or two, well, between one and two, I'm gonna say, and then I'm up at seven, eight o'clock in the morning, and good to go. Um, I do take naps though sometimes during the afternoon and it's usually while I'm diamond painting all of a sudden I'll be watching the channel on my TV and yeah all of a sudden I'll wake up and it's like oh dear that's that channel's over with another one has started and then I have to go back and replay it <laughs> so that I don't miss anything but yeah quite funny and I just continue on with my diamond painting. But it's quite funny. The other day I was talking to uh, Lynn over, uh, she's got a channel, uh, Diamond Painting with Marie. Uh, she and I talk on Messenger. Anyway, I was, I was talking to her and um, we were on the phone together or on Messenger together, whatever, on that video chat or whatever. Anyway, and um, yeah, I fell asleep on her. <laughs> I was talking away and I, and I said, I don't even know if I told her that I was getting tired or, oh, I was feeling tired. Maybe I was yawning or I don't know. Anyway, and she says, oh, do you want to go, go for a nap or something? I said, no, no, I'm good. Yeah, I think like five minutes later, I'm snoring. <laughs> I don't know if I was actually snoring, but yeah, I fell asleep on her talking to her. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's quite funny, and I do that. It's just all of a sudden, I'll just feel really, really tired, and then I'm sleeping. Like it's just that quick. Close my eyes and I'm out. So I could be talking to my husband too. Same thing. I'll be talking to him about something, and it's like, oh, I'm kind of feeling tired, but let's finish this conversation, and before the conversation's over, I'm sleeping. So it's funny. And it's just short little naps. It's like, you know, 10, 15 minutes and then I'm good to go again. But, yeah, it's really, really funny. This is, I think this is going to look really, really pretty when it's done. Just hopefully I'm in the picture there and you guys can see everything good. Um... Again, my apologies for not... I should, should have set up camera on the other side. I didn't even think of that. I was like, oh yeah, I'm left-handed. Duh. <laughs> oh, well. looking so pretty. These ones here are almost the same color though, just a little bit off from the the yellows. Just a little bit less yellow than this one. But pretty much the same color right there. Oh, back home is a big more stampede this week. I'm missing and ah, uh, wish I could have gone back to uh, spend it with my kids, but um, they're all out there enjoying the stampede. Uh, we usually, in Morris we get a rodeo. It's Morris, Manitoba. You get the uh, stampede rodeo. So you got all the cowboys and and stuff and um, just so so much fun. And this is like, what, the second year I think I've missed it, or second or third year, yeah. So I told my husband, no, oh, we've got to find a rodeo around here. I'm sure there is some. Just got to look for them, see where the closest one is. I would love to go to Albuquerque and see the big balloon, the hot air balloon event that goes on. Now, I would never go up in one, but I would love just to see all the balloons. I think that would be cool. I'll have to find out when that is. Albuquerque is probably about, I don't know, four hours, three and a half hours, four hours 
from where I am situated in New Mexico. Albuquerque is actually a really pretty city. Um, I love all the little shops, little uh, hand or yeah, handmade shops that are there. Um, we have a couple close by here as well, but they're more at gas stations along the way. They have handcrafts and stuff, and I just love looking at all the jewelry and handmade rugs and items that uh, they sell. These are, at least it says handmade now. Maybe I should look and just see. It'd be interesting to see if they're actually handmade or do they come from China? Because <laughs> I do know that I've gotten stuff from China that says handmade as well. Um, so. So yeah. But anyway, I'm not sure how long I've been talking here. But there's the start of it. I'll probably continue on with that today. And I'll probably have it finished so I can show you tomorrow what it's going to look like all put together. But yeah, so this is like a, I said, a new little thing from Timu. I'll get you the price right here. Let's see. Uh, so you can get two different sizes. So come on. So there it is, the puppy there. Hopefully you can see. The, can you see that okay? Puppy. And then, oh, wait till that goes. I always forget to turn my notifications off on this phone. Okay, so there's the puppy there. And so you can get two sizes. So you can get uh, 21.5 by 21.5, which I think this one is. Or you can get a larger size for 25 by 25, which is 10 inch by 10 inch. Not sure what size this one is. But there it is. So there's two sizes. This one is 16.19 for the 10 inch by 10 inch. And let me just see which one I got. This one, I got the, doesn't say, but I, I spent $15.98. So I presume I did get the, this one is the 10 inch by 10 inch one. So because right now it's sixteen nineteen, so it is a little bit higher than what I paid for it. But uh, this seller here is, let's see who this seller is, Coco CQ. Yeah, Coco CQ. They have 103 items in their shop. And so that's what it's going to look like when it's done there. So, so cute. But yeah, you can put little things. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks good. So they have like a whole bunch. Now, if you want to see if any other seller is selling this, what you do, I'm going to show you a trick. Just click on that. And you see up here, there's a camera. I'm going to click on this little camera thing. It's going to take a picture. And look at all the different ones out there. So, oh, hold on. All my notifications are going off again. Okay, so there's a bunch of different ones. So there's one here for $12.95. So if you click on that, it's got again two sizes. And let's see what their 10 by 10 is $14.57. So maybe that's the same one. But, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of different sellers for that. Oh my goodness, look at this little one. <gasps> that is so cute. That's actually a metal sign, but that's adorable. I love the bunnies. Cows, whoops. So yeah, like I said, they have a whole bunch of different ones there, but so if you're looking for something and you want to see if someone else has a better price, just make sure you hit that camera there. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Hold on here. Of course it went right back into my there we go. So so yeah, click on this little camera up here, it'll take a picture, and there you go. And that shows all the different things. Then you can go down that rabbit hole. Oh, this is pretty. These ones look like they're all um, sun catchers though, or, luna, or aluminum signs. So, but yeah. 
But they have a whole bunch of different um, ones on here. This one has eight models. So there's eight different ones here. So here's a beautiful hummingbird. That is gorgeous. I love the hummingbird. And then the puppy, of course. And the little cow. Um, oh, that looks from Alice in Wonderland. And another little hummingbird there. Oh, and it's just going back. Cow. So there's four different ones on this one. They're all 10 by 10s. So on that one's $17.98. So really watch your prices. Um, that's why I always look. Whoops. Let me go back here. That's why I always click and then I go and look at my camera. And it takes a picture of that. And I always look to see what uh, is out there. So they have, ooh, look at this kitty really really pretty kitty gorgeous gorgeous kitty and yeah really, really nice so they look like here they serve it with their desserts it's a little dessert tray but so you could use yeah this tray for anything so anyway so just make sure yeah you're checking out that camera so that way you get like the best deals um, that are out there on Timu and I really really like that for that but with that guys I think that's it that's um yeah I'm going to continue working on this today and see how far I can get I also want to work on my black kitty uh, for the diamond dots event and so yeah that's it I hope you have a most beautiful beautiful day it is beautiful you know why because God created it Yes, today is a day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. <laughs> and uh, so from my home to yours, yes, have a wonderful day. And as always, God's richest blessings. And I'll see you on the next one.